So Prisma 3D just dropped some exciting new updates, and I'm going to give you a quick breakdown of the best new features. Some of these are available now in the Pro Early Access, but don't worry, they're also coming soon to the official app. Let's get into it. First up, let's talk about the Model Tool. Inside the Model menu, you'll notice a brand new option called Mesh. In this option, you now have controls for radius, segments, and width. Radius and width let you scale the object up easily. Segments let you automatically add loop cuts without manually using the loop cut tool. And of course, the smooth tool is still there. All of this makes modeling in Prisma 3D much easier and faster. Next, there's a big update to the lighting system. When you go to the skylight option, you'll see three new lighting setups. Daylight, nightlight, and studio light. The studio light is a game changer. It not only lights up your scene, but also creates a background environment. This background can be customized using the brand new HDRI option. HDRI basically lets your models reflect the environment for a more realistic look. You can even adjust the exposure or change the time of day. The only thing missing right now is full object to object reflections like mirrors, but this is still a huge step forward. Lastly, Let's look at the animation panel. The timeline and keyframe timeline are now merged into one, making it easier to manage your animations. You can move keyframes manually, and you can even group animated models together without breaking your project. That's a quick overview of the new Prisma 3D features. I'll be covering these updates in more detail soon, but for now, if you want to try them out early, you'll need to get Prisma 3D Pro or you can just wait until they're released on the official app. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.